I've got some fabulous new favorites for you. Welcome in, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I'll tell you what, long before I started my channel, I was busy with a business and kids and house and all the things that make up our lives. And I can remember something like this happening. I'd run out of blush. <laughs> and I wouldn't know what to get because you walk into the store and there's about 500 blush choices in there. I just wanted someone to tell me what a good blush was. It didn't have to be a life-changing blush. I just wanted a good blush and I wanted somebody to tell me what that good blush was so I could go quickly and pick it up. Those memories are what is sparking today's video. I'm sharing with you really, really good favorites that I've come across that I think are can't miss products. Before we get started, if you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Not only am I sharing my favorites today, but this video is a continuation of my season of friendship here on YouTube. Today I'm partnering with my wonderful, lovely friend, Melissa, from Mrs. Melissa M. You probably know her, she's an icon in the mature beauty community, and I have been watching her for years, long before I ever started my own YouTube channel. I have relied on her for so long on makeup reviews, tips, and tricks. Truly, she is a wealth of information, not only about makeup, but makeup for more mature skin. She has a fabulous channel filled with wonderful videos, including tutorials and tips, and reviews and all kinds of great recommendations. I'll tell you what, I buy more things that I hear about from Mrs. Melissa M than any other resource, truly. There has been a moment or two when I thought I'll just send her my debit card and save myself a step. She discovers so many great finds and demonstrates them in such a way that I just have to have them. So Mrs. Melissa M is going to be sharing her new favorites along with me. I'll have her video and her channel listed below. Make sure you go over there, find out what she's loving these days, like the video, subscribe, and tell her that I sent you in the comments. We're gonna launch right into these fabulous new favorites. And as always, all products that I mentioned today will be listed and linked below. So super easy for you to find. And with that, Let's hop in. I have a wide range of products today and it covers almost the full face of putting on makeup. I'll be talking about some products that I've been sharing lately, but I wanted to mention them in this video because they're just mm -hmm. that good. The first one is this brow pencil from Revlon. And if I don't stop talking about this, someone's going to get a hook and drag me off of here. But I'll tell you what, this product is really so very good. The reason I like this so much is that it fills so many needs and does each and every one of them really, really well. They call this the Brow Creator and that's very well named. The first thing it features is this very thin twist up pencil so you don't have to worry about sharpening it. And I find that it is just the right consistency. It's not too soft, but it's not too hard. It fills in the brows nicely and quickly. Doesn't get gummy, doesn't get too stiff, so you have to actually pull on your skin. It fills my brows in so beautifully. I usually go for a light brown in a brow pencil. In this particular pencil, I'm in the color blonde, and I'm really, really enjoying the color. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit more subtle, but I think it has enough depth and richness to show up on my face. On the other end, we have a nice spoolie, which of course is a must with a brow pencil. Here's where it gets over the top for me. You actually unscrew the pencil and inside is a little dabber with brow powder on it. So you can actually dab that into your brows to fill in sparse areas. I have always had it work so well. In other words, it really fills in those little bald spots in my brows without creating any fallout or putting down too much product or putting down too little product. It seems to just have a wonderful consistency, so it always works really perfect for me. I'm loving this brow product so much. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've used any other brow product other than a setting gel since I picked this up. This is a drugstore price. It's from Revlon and comes in a number of colors. Again, this is the color blonde. 
Absolutely love this dandy little brow pencil. Next up is another great drugstore find. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1. If you haven't heard about this product, it's fairly new. I think it's been out about four or five months. This is such an interesting little product, and the way that I have been using it is underneath my foundation. It comes with a little sponge tip, and you twist it up just like you do the Instant Age Rewind Concealer which I use quite often. I love that concealer. This is a glowy type product. In other words, it creates a very subtle, very, very pretty glow wherever you put it. You can use it in a number of ways. I like to use it underneath my foundation, right at the tops of my cheeks and above my brows, and then I just tap it in. What it does is create a beautiful, subtle glow underneath my foundation. It sinks in really well and almost acts a little bit like a primer on my skin, although I don't use this for my dedicated primer. I add it on top of my primer. The consistency is very, very creamy and very light. It's not heavy at all. It almost soaks into the skin a little bit like a serum. I haven't had it add any cakiness to my complexion at all. Today, I put it underneath my foundation in the high points of my cheeks and above my brows. However, that's not the only thing you can use it for. You can actually use it as a highlighter. It creates a beautiful, sheer, subtle glow as a highlighter. This is such a dandy little product and it has so many uses that I think it's a great addition to any makeup collection. Again, this is from Maybelline, very, very affordable, extremely useful. I'm loving this Instant Age Rewind 4-in-1 Perfector. Next, I want to talk about my Beauty Pie Under Eye Genius Corrector. I know I've talked about this so much in my videos recently, but I really wanted to give a dedicated few minutes because it has changed my makeup routine significantly. I have used several under eye correctors in my makeup career here on YouTube. This is my favorite. There is something extremely magical about this formula. It's different than the other correctors that I've used in that it has a little bit of a luminosity to it. Not only does it brighten my under eyes, but it creates this subtle glow that is so very pretty. What I'll do is I'll just get a little bit on my finger, tap that underneath my eyes in the purple areas, and then bring it out to the sides of my eyes let it dry down and it creates a wonderful base for my concealer. This gives such a beautiful look to my under eyes even without concealer that I'll tell you what, I have forgotten to put concealer on so many times recently because my under eyes are looking really good with this under eye genius that I forget to put on my concealer. As a matter of fact, I did that today. Forgetting my concealer is a little bit of a funny and fun thing because it tells me that my under eyes are looking a lot better as a result of applying this. What I have found when I use this under eye genius is I no longer have to set my concealer. And for me, that's a huge change. I have very crinkly and wrinkly under eyes. I know you probably can't see the details with this lighting, but I do. I'm 65, it comes with the territory. I have always had to set my concealer because it crinkles up into my little fine lines during the day. Since I've been using this and there was one day where I just didn't put on a setting powder on my under eyes, and I wanted to see what would happen, and my concealer looked great throughout the day. Since that day, I have not been using setting powder underneath my eyes, and my concealer does not crease, and it looks lovely. Now, let me qualify that. When I say doesn't crease, it doesn't gather significantly in my under eye crinklies. It looks as good as I can get for my under eyes, and it's one less step and one less opportunity for my makeup to look cakey and creasy. I love this under eye genius. It really has changed my makeup routine. If you're not familiar with Beauty Pie, it's an online beauty club. In other words, you pay an annual membership. It's very reasonable and you get access to a whole line of products at really fabulous prices. Truly, it's one of the neatest companies I've come across in a while. This under eye genius is worth the price of admission right there. It really is that good. I've had this product now for, gosh, a few months. I use it every time I do my makeup, and you can see there's still so much left in the container. 
I would imagine this is going to last me at least a year. One of my huge favorites is the Beauty Pie Under Eye Genius Corrector. Now we're going to hop into a little bit more luxury product. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Quad in the color Star Aura. I have used very little from Charlotte Tilbury, but one thing I can tell you is every single thing I have purchased from this line has been excellent. That is so rare for me because I'm a little bit picky and a little bit discriminating about what I really love. What I have found from Charlotte Tilbury is quality across the board. It's a little bit higher price point, but everything about the product line from the packaging to what's inside really has impressed me. The reason that I want to talk about this little quad today is because of the eyeshadow formula. This is significant, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> One of the banes of my makeup existence is creasing of my eyeshadow. And I'm not talking about creasing in the middle of my eye. I pretty much have that handled. I use an eyeshadow primer. I let it dry down. I blend in my shadows. My eyeshadows in this area will stay nice for an eight, nine hour day. Where I have difficulty is in the inner corner of my eye. It's very wrinkly in there. And if my eye is watering even a little bit from something in the air, or if I just have watery eyes that day, that moisture will creep up into the inside of my eyelid and really cause that eyeshadow to break up and look creasy. I know that it's probably not as noticeable to other people as it is to me. I'm looking in a 7X mirror, but nevertheless, it really, really bugs me. Recently, I picked up this Star Aura palette from Charlotte Tilbury and used it, and I'll tell you what, I am not kidding you one little bit. These eyeshadows do not crease. And when I say they don't crease, I mean they don't crease. It's really a very unique formula. And to be honest with you, I am completely fascinated with it. It's almost as though I want to get up in the morning every morning and try this eyeshadow again, blend it in and look at it because it creates the most sheer, beautiful glow of color on my very wrinkly eyelids and does not crease at all. It's magical to me the way that it lays on my very mature lids. I have used this quad several times. I have it on my eyes today and every single time I use it I'm absolutely fascinated with this formula. I wouldn't necessarily say the shadows are creamy. That's not how I would describe them. I would just say they're very sheer and when they go on the lids they put on the most lovely just wash of color and I love the fact that even in this crinkly wrinkly area on the inside of my eyes it doesn't crease. It just has that beautiful sheer watercolor effect even in that area. Based on my initial dive into the Charlotte Tilbury line I can tell you that the shadows probably don't have the broad range of bright and rich colors that other shadows do. However, if you're looking for a beautiful look on your lids that absolutely does increase, I can highly recommend this formula. I think it's probably one of the most appropriate formulas for mature eyes because of the way the shadow lays on the eyelids. This particular quad is a beautiful neutral quad, and you can see there's a range of colors here. I've used every one of these colors, blended them in, and they do the same things on my eyelids. They lay there in the most beautiful way and don't crease all day long. I have become so fascinated with the Charlotte Tilbury line that I have ordered quite a number of products. Some of them have come in, some are still on their way, and I'll be doing a dedicated video showing you what I purchased from Charlotte Tilbury, and then I'll be testing and trying the products over the coming weeks and months. What I can say about this quad for more mature eyes, it is one of the most beautiful formulas I've come across. Next up I want to talk to you about, apparently, <laughs> my deep love for the Milani Baked Blushes. However, this is a new color for me, so it qualifies for a new favorite. This is the color Sunset right here. It's actually what I'm wearing on my face today. When I say that I'm in a love affair with these baked blushes, I am not kidding you. I have so many. This is the newest Sunset Passion. I have Petal Primavera, Red Vino, Berry Amour, and a few more scattered around my filming studio. Here's what I love so much about these baked blushes for Milani. As you 
you can see, I have purchased a number of the shades in the collection. Every single one of them is really, really good. The formula is very, very creamy, and a number of them have just a beautiful, glowy shift to them that they really look so very pretty on the skin. I have found, here, let's put a little extra on. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I just love these blushes. The color selection in this range of blushes is so sophisticated. They hit the color range in a subtle way so they don't just sit on your cheeks looking like, oh gee, there's the blush. They really do blend in very beautifully. The formula is yummy and I don't find they sit on top of my skin at all. There's a ton of product in each one of these compacts and I've had several of them for two years and it doesn't even look like I've dipped into them. That's what a great value they are. Of course, this is a drugstore priced product. In addition to a great product inside, they really are packaged very beautifully. So it's not one of those drugstore products where you open it up and the package breaks within a couple of weeks. These have held up beautifully in my collection. I haven't had any of the packaging break down on me. Remember how I was talking earlier about I just wanted somebody to tell me what a good blush is? <laughs> this one right here. The Milani Baked Blush is a big favorite with me. I'm gonna finish up with another wonderful line from Milani. This is their lipstick collection. If you haven't used this lipstick line from Milani, I can tell you it's really, really good. And you guys know, <laughs> lipstick is my deal. Milani has expanded this line and recently came out with a matte nudes collection. Here's the good news. <laughs> They're really good. Here's the bad news. You can hardly find them. That's how good they are. They're sold out everywhere. I've looked on the Milani website. I've looked on the Ulta website. You can hardly find any of the shades at all. I have been lucky to find a few of them in my local Walmart. The shade that I'm wearing today is called Secret. It is just the most beautiful neutral shade. I'm wearing this today. I put a little bit of my Clear City Lips lip gloss on top just to give it a little bit of shimmer in the middle of my lip. Isn't that just the most gorgeous color? What I can say about this formula is they are so very comfortable. Even though they're matte lipsticks, and I am kind of on a matte train right now, I'm enjoying the matte look on my lips. I have worn these all day long. They don't dry down and make your lips feel like the Sahara Desert. I found them to be very comfortable throughout the day and long lasting. Another plus about this line is the shades. They're absolutely beautiful. You can see how pretty this one is. This is another from the line. This is in the color Pleasure. You can see that right here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, this is in the color Lustful right here. This is not a matte formula. This is from the regular line. You can see that has a little bit of a glossy finish. And this is lingerie. And again, it is a glossier formula. Wait till you see this color. That is so very pretty. I had not worked with any of the other Milani lipstick formulas. It's my understanding that this is a little bit of a newer line. And I'll tell you what, they really knocked it out of the park with this line of lipsticks. Whether you choose a glossier formula or a matte, I can tell you they've all worked really well for me super comfortable long lasting the shades are spot on I think they're just a great value those are my latest makeup favorites for us over 50 gals with mature skin make sure that you pop by mrs. Melissa M's channel and see what her favorites are I'm telling you what I'm going right over there we don't share beforehand and I'm pretty certain there's going to be some purchases as a result of her video I'll have that listed down below. If you found this video fun, useful, and helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.